Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Limpens. I'm ecologist uh, studying peatlands and other types of wetlands for many years now. I'm from uh, Wageningen University, associate uh, professor there. And this is my contribution uh, on enablers, barriers and gaps on uh, peatland restoration. I'm Dutch, uh, so it's a bit difficult for me to be really sharp uh, commenting on the situation in Ireland. So if so, just you know. Now for me, uh, if I think about enablers, I think the current um, political atmosphere is, uh, is, is very fruitful, is very fertile for enabling peatland restoration. Uh, there is increasing attention uh, for services provided by peatlands and also other ecosystems dealing with uh, carbon uh, sequestration, but also other ecosystem services such as uh, cleaner water or dampening fluctuations in water outflow in watersheds, so dampening peak outflow, uh, for example, reducing fire risks uh, by restoring peatlands. Uh, water retention in peatlands. So there is attention to, to increasing amount of services that these ecosystems provide uh, for humans. Um, also the science related to uh, restoration is an enabler and the science related to alternative land uses. Uh, there are many uh, studies showing that alternative land uses are possible uh, surrounding peatlands and thereby enabling restoration often by rewetting of peatlands. Um, also, you, you see uh, this is uh, translated into bigger policies, uh, like the, the European policies and also the national policies, as, uh, as also outlined in the, in the material of the webinar. Now, this brings me to the, to the barriers, because I think the will is there uh, but the, uh, the, the difficulty, I think, is getting all the knowledge together and to really implement it. And for this, there need to be finance structures that provide long-term finance, not just uh, restoration money to, to re-wet a peatland, but money, invested money, to re-wet the peatland and to enable uh, the economies of, of communities surrounding the peatland uh, to, to transition to a more sustainable land use. Um, and this is not only about money, it's also uh, uh, giving attention to how people feel and the emotional bond that people feel about their surroundings and their sense of place, of, of having a certain tradition or having a, um, a certain connection to a landscape. And I think there is a, a real challenge to, to bring all the, 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 good, um, the good practices that are scattered around together and to come up with a, um, with a, coherent, uh, yeah, a coherent way of, of getting everyone around the table and to enact change. Um, so maybe the barrier is more on, on implementation uh, and, and financing, I, I, I would guess. And maybe finance structures such as the carbon credits that have been mentioned by others uh, are, uh, are a way. But I, I think we need more than just credits and, uh, and accounting. Now, what are gaps? Uh, of course, they are related to the barriers, I would say. Uh, for me, I, I miss um, with policies uh, uh, often a more uh, landscape related uh, policy. Um, I, I don't know if it, what I mean is often often policies are related to political regions or communities, but in order to change a landscape, you need to uh, to look at a, uh, to come up with a coherent plan that connects to, that connects um, that connects landscapes that makes sense landscapes wise and not not only politically. Uh, how to do this, I have no clue, but, but it could be maybe a kind of a regional plan, but then connected to certain watersheds or, or um, at least to landscape functioning. Um, I think uh, a gap would also be uh, exactly this, this how to, to 
uh, mobilize finance for for longer than, than just the project, uh, the restoration project itself. So, so how to enact sustainable change? How to transition towards a more uh, sustainable economy surrounding the peatland and 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 with uh, with the surroundings and not just uh, from top down? Because especially in the conditions in Ireland, as I understood the very scattered land ownership, you need everyone on board for this. And everyone needs to be enthusiastic about it. Uh, so uh, people should should share the vision, because otherwise I don't think it, it will work. So thank you. That was my contribution uh, from the sofa. <laughs>